Parks. Many southern Colorado parks and trails are flooded or badly damaged. And it's happening at a terrible time. The busy holiday weekend, the Memorial Day weekend, always brings in the crowds. Many like to hike and bike on those trails, and they're just now finding out the bad news. KRDO News Channel 13, Scott Harrison is live near Dorchester Park on the south side of the Springs. And that's where a trail along Fountain Creek has been closed through the holiday weekend. Well, guys, there's a paved trail behind me here, and you can't see the damage to it immediately behind me. You have to go a little bit farther south to the Nevada Avenue Bridge, and then on south beyond there, there's a nice layer of mud covering the trails in some areas. And this is a paved trail, so you can imagine what the dirt trails must look like after all this rain. So if you add the three city trails that are closed because of flooding, and then nine trails or parts of trails in El Paso County closed because of flooding, it limits options for many of us who are tired of rain and want to get outdoors this weekend. Red Rock Canyon is one of the most popular parks in the Springs area, but because of flood damage, it'll be empty for the holiday. Kevin Brodeur came all the way from the East Coast to hike here. I am a little surprised. I was, I was hoping for, uh, it's actually warmer back home than it is here. Uh, in in uh, Connecticut, it's in the 80s. But we. A little disappointed, sure, but, uh, you know, make the best of it. This group found a back way in and didn't know the park was closed. It's weirdly pretty because it's like a, like diff, so many different uh, types of rocks just on the trail. They were so washed out that it was, you can hardly tell you were on one. Workers coming in and out of these damaged trail and park areas say they can't leave an open gate unattended for more than a minute before people eager to use these facilities start rushing in. And they don't want people to do that right now. Because runoff continues to drain, and with still more rain expected this weekend, the city is prepared for more damage to parks and trails. You are going to experience some level of trail damage on maybe what is your typical hike or loop that you like to do. The Rainbow Falls wreck area in Manitou Springs recently reopened after floods in 2013. But this is as close as you can get to it now. Surrounding flood damage has closed it again. It's a familiar story that's not ending soon. And a little bit later this evening, we will post a complete list of all the trail closures in the area throughout the weekend. That'll be on our web version of this story coming up later at KRDO.com. Reporting live for now in Colorado Springs, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.